A good set of bearings should not only last a long time, but roll really fast. Here are three tips you might not know to make sure your bearings last the longest and roll the fastest. Real quick, let me tell you the parts of a standard skateboard bearing. You have the outer race, the inner race, the shields, the cage, and of course the balls. Ball bearings. First tip, use spacers and washers. The most important thing you can do to make your bearings last a long time is to use the spacers. Many bearings come with spacers, so if you're buying a new set of bearings, check and see if they come with spacers or not. If they do, be sure to use them. Here's why. Skateboard bearings are designed to take an extreme amount of pressure from above and inside. The force of any impact combined with the weight of the skater all push down vertically on the outer and inner rings as well as the balls inside. Most skateboard bearings are designed to take pressure from the sides horizontally, but nowhere near as much as they can take from vertically, from above and below. No matter what bearings you have, they will last the longest and skate the fastest with the least amount of pressure or damage from the sides. That's where spacers help. The sideways stress on a single bearing without spacers is significant. All the sideways pressure of skateboarding is pushed onto one side of one bearing with only the seat of the wheel to support it. Spacers make it so both bearings support from both sides, so instead of the force of skateboarding pushing into just one side of one bearing, the force is distributed through both bearings and everywhere they touch the wheels. The spacers make both bearings all one contained unit, essentially making them twice as strong against any sideways pressure. So if you want your bearings to last and you have spacers, use them. Now what's good about washers? Washers make sure that the truck hanger and the axle nuts don't damage the shields of the bearings. The pressure from the sides is only placed on the inner race, not on the sides of the bearing shield. If you damage your bearing shields, it's gonna affect your bearings. Again, skateboard bearings are designed to take a lot of pressure from the sides. Your bearings can still roll fine without spacers and washers. I used to do it all the time, but I also used to get free bearings and it didn't matter to me if they lasted more than a couple weeks or not. If you really want your bearings to roll the fastest and last the longest, use your spacers and washers. Tip number two, proper installation. The second most important thing to make sure your bearings last is to install them properly. First off, find out if there's a certain side of the bearing that should be facing out towards the world or inside towards the inner sides of the wheels. For example, with Bronson G3s, the side of the bearing with the stripe should be facing out. They're proven to roll faster that way. Some bearings, it doesn't matter which side is out. If you're putting in some new bearings, it's good to check and make sure and see if there's a specific side that should be facing outward and one that should be facing inward. Unless you have access to a bearing press, the best place to install them is on the truck itself. This is easier to do when the trucks are already mounted on the deck. Start by making sure you already have a washer on the trucks. That way you don't put any extra pressure on the shields. Put the side of the bearing you want facing outward on the truck axle facing down. Press the wheel on with your hands as far as you can. Some wheels slide right on, some don't. If you lean over the wheel, you can use more of your body weight. Make sure that washer is still on there. Put the second bearing on the axle. Again, the side you want facing outward, facing down. Now is when you add that spacer. I talked about spacers, right? Did I say spacers? Spacers, spacers, spacers. Remember spacers? Push the open side of the wheel down onto the axle and bearing. It's okay if you can't get the bearing to completely sink into the wheel all the way. Both bearings are in there. Add the nut and loosely tighten it up with your fingers. Your bearing sandwich should look something like this. Truck, washer, bearing, spacer, bearing, washer, nut. Yum yum. You can use a skate tool or a half inch wrench or socket to tighten. Make sure you have those washers on and be very careful while doing this. Another way to damage or stress your bearings that people don't know about is by pushing too hard with the tool when you're tightening or loosening your bearings. Some tools have sharp lips and you can push into the sides of the shields and dent your shields. Lame. If you're just too damn strong, there are a few tools out there, like the Bronson tool, that are designed to put pressure on the outer and inner races and not damage the shields. If the bearings weren't pushed all the way in, you'll want to tighten it slowly and feel for when the bearings are all the way in and won't go deeper. 
Once you feel it get harder to tighten, stop. Wiggle the wheel a bit, check and see if the wheel feels tight. If it's tight and the wheel doesn't spin fast and easy, back off a tiny bit. If you have spacers on, you will know when the bearings are completely in and the nut is tight. The tightening stops abruptly and the bearings are in. If you don't have spacers, it's harder to tell because the urethane that the wheels are made of can squish. As the nut tightens and the bearing sinks completely into the wheel, you might hear some creaking noises. If you over tighten it, that creaking and cracking might be the sound of your cage breaking inside your bearings. It's not that hard to over tighten the nut and actually break your own bearings while installing them. Again, spacers will help that. It's best to tighten your wheels a slight turn of the wrench at a time. The same as you can damage your bearings installing them, you can also damage them removing them. Here's how to remove your bearings properly. To remove the bearings, loosen and remove the nut and washer. Place just the tip of the axle inside the bearing, not even as deep as the spacer, only deep enough to reach one bearing. Pry out the single bearing. Grab that spacer while you're at it, don't lose that. Pry out the other bearing. Sometime with older wheels, this can be really difficult. You can actually damage your bearings by repeatedly installing them and removing them over and over, especially when you're prying them out. It depends on how much effort it takes to put them in and pry them out of the wheel. It's super easy, it won't put too much stress on your bearings. It's really difficult to install them and pry them out. It's gonna be hard on the bearings. Now the last tip for keeping your bearings in good condition is good for your entire skateboard. Don't leave it out in the rain at night. Um, try not to ride through puddles. If you do, you can spin the water out, not a big deal. If they really get soaked, you can take them out of the wheel, wipe them down, spin out the water, and put them back in. The important thing is that they just don't sit there wet and rust. There you have it. Those are the three tips that'll make sure your bearings will last the longest and roll the fastest. 